Hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your August 28th through September 3rd weekly reading. Generally I do love readings, but we will see what comes up. This is for Aquarius. I do think there's a lot of mixed emotions this week. I think there's some, some emotional stuff going on. Um, and I thought that when I was shuffling the cards, I just feel like there's some mixed emotions this week for you guys. Okay, so here we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And this person, it, this could represent you very well. This is somebody who's going through an emotional time. Okay, they, there could be a lot of stuff going on. There could be some depression. There could be a lot of thoughts in your head. A lot of... Uh, you know reminiscing about something this is a Aries but it's also somebody you know this could be somebody that is in your life right now this is uh, somebody who is in a leadership position or have been in the past it could be somebody who is very organized um, this is about organization structure leadership Right here, this is this is about choices. This is about um, choosing love or possessions. Hold on, wait a minute. That's what he's saying. Hold on, wait a minute. Which what, what is it? What do you want here? Think before you act. What is it that you want? Think be, be careful, be careful because what you own owns you. That's what this card means. Watch out. What you own owns you. So be careful what you wish for. All right, or what you take in. All right, this is this is again. This is remembrance. That's what I said it over here. I hadn't even seen this card yet. This is remembrance. This is looking back, looking at the past, remembering something. Okay, and this is moving forward. This is putting yourself in the driver's seat. All right, this is this is you mastering your emotions. It looks like it's an emotional week for for you. It definitely does. There's a lot going on. I think maybe there could be a loss. There could be a loss. Maybe somebody that you really, really care about. You know, maybe they're moving on. And it's something that's causing you, you know, the need to um, really keep your emotions intact. Where I think that it's really hard. I think that you're, this is a week of feeling. There's a lot of heavy feeling going on. And you're really trying to consider everything that's going on, but I think there's a lot. I think um, maybe there's some kind of ignoring a situation. Maybe you've been ignoring something and now it's finally coming to a head. And now it's just overwhelming. Um, I definitely feel like there's some kind of... A feeling of loss and it's really causing you to go over the past memories you've had perhaps with somebody it could be an Aries it could be a, a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio um, yeah but I think there's there's definitely some kind of uh, it's definitely emotional okay It is going to take strength and willpower to get through it. It is. I see that there's some kind of heartbreak here. There's some kind of heartbreak that cause, makes you feel like you really need to keep it together. All right? And it has to do with, I mean, it has something to do, it may be even from your childhood um, or somebody from the past. Maybe you... Um, This right here is a new discovery. And, and this card up here is saying to make sure you decide carefully. So whatever happens, when something new comes in and you think that it's perfect, be careful because you want to make sure that you think about it. Okay? Don't, don't jump because 
Don't follow your ego side, is what I'm trying to say, because this is kind of an egotistical card. And this can be choosing between materialistic things and love. So be careful. When something, when something new is presented to you, which might happen this week, this could be a new discovery, a new journey, uh, something that seems really exciting, okay? Be careful, okay? Because um, what you own owns you. Okay, so just be careful what you choose because it may be more work than you were thinking. Okay, so just be careful about that. It could cost you some money, some some of the money that you have um, earned and saved and and um, that you need to take care of yourself. So just just be careful what you choose. All right. This is saying that you're going to need willpower and strength to get over whatever this heartache is. So this is during the week. Now this is the whole week. This is going to resonate with some and not all. I see that there's some kind of pain that you're going through that you're going to try to push down. Yeah, you're just going to try to push it down. Okay, so here we have the Empress. This is about... Um, honoring yourself okay this woman gets by with her on her beauty she gets by on not just her outer beauty but her inner beauty she's a beautiful soul okay and connected with this nine of Pentacles is telling me that you have you you are the whole package so if you ever feel like you aren't you're you are the whole package if you're feeling really depressed if somebody let you down if you were rejected if you're feeling a loss Remember to look deep within and remember who you are, okay? Because you are a beautiful soul, all right? You need to bring back your confidence. If you happen to lose your confidence because this is such an emotional week, you have the ability to bring it back knowing um, who you are inside, all right? This is generous. It feels to me like this is a very generous week. Perhaps you're giving your time and your resources to somebody in need. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like maybe there's some kind of celebration where you are really contributing. All right. But just remember that it is going to take... Um, willpower it's going to take confidence it's going to you're going to have to um be ready for it okay you're going to have to be ready for it it's again about mastering your emotions you have mastering your emotions here and here so whatever heartbreak this is that you're going to be going through this week whatever loss or rejection that you feel you know i think that you're going to just try to like shove the emotions down and, and push through it and know that you have what it takes inside to heal you do and just continue doing what you do by contributing and helping others which is, is something that you normally do anyway all right I see that um, there could be some kind of celebration that you go to um, where you might be a contributor to the celebration um, Let's see what else we can get for this week. I see that you've been focusing on your foundation, focusing on your career. And perhaps you've been doing that to hide whatever emotional heart loss that you're going through. Any heartache or any loss or whatever. Perhaps you're just focusing on work to get through it. Maybe you're pretending something isn't really happening. I don't know. Or 
or just wanting to ignore that something's happening. That could be the truth too. All right, this right here is a little bit of tension. So there is a little bit of tension this week and perhaps there's some cord that's being cut and that's what's gonna cause the, the, the heartache. Maybe there's some um, cord of communication that's being cut between somebody. Maybe somebody's cut communication with you or you're gonna cut communication with somebody or there's been some kind of severing of ties, okay? So that's what it looks like to me. But here, we also, like I said, you've been working and you've accomplished. I think that you've been saving. This is material abundance where I think that you're feeling very generous. So I think that maybe you'll be um, offering your home to somebody for something, for a gathering or who knows what. Or taking on something extra that might end up costing you money. Be careful. Be careful what you signed up for. All right. This one right here is um, because you're very generous, overly generous. So that's why I'm saying be careful what you sign up for because you can only handle so much. You know, I know that you have a beautiful soul, but don't take on more than you need to. All right. So this right here is a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It's also a father, any father. So this right here, you know. This could be, this is a heartache, this is a loss. Now this could be any sign, but this is a loss of a person that is severing the ties with somebody. Now I don't, I mean this could be, you know, just not communicating with them anymore. But it's somebody who you've been thinking about from the past. Okay, so it may be somebody you grew up with, could be a family member. Okay, that you're just not getting along with anymore. Or they're leaving, or who knows what it is. It could be a partner where you're thinking about severing ties or they've caused you heartache in the past and you need to sever ties there is going to be some kind of gathering I think this is again is about this is about resistance though this is about um, insecurity for some reason yeah, there we go. We got that heartache again. That's not what we want. Don't take on more than you can, more than you can do because, you know, you want to give so much. You feel others' pains. It's like it's a, you're, you're like an empath, okay? So you want to give, 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 give. And I see that, that you know, you cause a, a lot of stress for yourself because you give so much. You deserve to grieve if you're going through heartache okay you deserve to be emotional if you need to be emotional okay try don't resist it overindulgence this is the need for blending this is the need for moderation this is what i'm talking about you know, you have to acknowledge your feelings of hurt this week. Whatever's hurting you needs to be acknowledged. You can't shove the feelings down. Maybe you need to vent to your friends. Okay, because we have the friends card here too. Maybe you need to let them, let somebody know how hurt you are. Maybe you need to, maybe you need to cry. You know? I know that you're strong and you have a beautiful soul and you have so much to give, but I feel like this is a very emotional week for you and that you need to get, you need to release. You need to blend. You need to blend your ability to give with take so that, you know, you need to be able to let somebody give to you. I think you take on too much, and I think this week you're taking on a lot. Just be careful what you take on. That's what I have, Aquarius. Uh, talk to you soon.